Hello. So, in today's video, I thought I'd show you a few of the Kajaku fry. I said the fish are active today because temperatures are up. Even sturgeon's up. So we've spent loads and loads of time on internet in the last few weeks trying to find out which of these fry actually are going to be Kajaku. There's not a lot on the internet on breeding Kajaku. There's a few videos in Japan, but they don't exactly tell you what to look for. So these are the Kajaku and Yamabuki fry. I bowled a couple up just so we can have a look. There's a few actually showing colour now. So we know which are going to be Kajaku and which aren't. So, as you can see, this fry, this is one of the Kajaku fry. This is probably going to be a Jin Masuba. And if you look at its face, it's more a whitish colour. Now, I was unsure whether this was going to be a Kajaku with a white face. But looking at how many fry are actually showing colour now, I've noticed that the ones with the dark yellow face are this one. You can clearly see now that this is going to be a Kajaku. And this one. Let's get in its Kajaku pattern. Now, a couple of weeks ago, they'd all got yellow faces, and that's the reason why I saved them. Because the only videos I can find on the internet where they're culling Kajaku is it just shows you where the yellow face. Now, in the last couple of weeks, they have actually, some of them have got darker yellow than others. As you can see, some have just got the dark yellow nose, but they are showing orange patterning down the back, where all the others are looking like Jun Masuba. I mean, I have saved thousands on them. We've moved a load of bigger ones over here now. But another thing that is interesting. And this water is clear and where these have came from this water is not so clear now in here the colours are coming out a lot faster than they are in the clear water now I also I put a little sanky fry in here and while we're culling yesterday, I caught it in the net. I've not seen it since I put it in. I mean, you can only see down probably six or seven inches in here and then it just goes dark. But I actually netted it out the other day and it's gone dark red. I don't know if we can actually see it in here. It's there. Now the only difference is, I'm feeding the exact same food and the only difference is with it is that water's coloured and this water's clear. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. If it does start to show the colours more, I might look into dyeing all the water in here. just why I'm growing them, just to bring the colours out a bit more, just see whether it does work. I say when I put our fish in it, it looked like all the rest of the Sankey. I mean we've, I've been sorting a few out, I don't know what they'll feed because I've just done netting. I've been sorting a few out and I've been putting them all in this tank 
near the window just to give them a bit more light. some nice fish in here. Right, let's take the rest down there. Got quite a few. Also, I've been thinking I've got way too many fish, so I think at the end of February, I think it's time we're going to move all those little shearer. We're going to move them on. Right, let's get a bit of food. See when they'll come up. I think we're going to have to move a few of these share on now. So my plan is, come end of March, I'm going to concentrate on the share in the shower this year. And all these are going to have to go. Unfortunately, I'd love to build a bigger pond, but I just ain't got the room. I've even thought about building a show pond just outside the doors here. That might be a project next year. We'll see how it goes. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Back to the other fry. You said we've got thousands and thousands of fry. This don't really do it no justice because you can't actually see down into the depths on how many there is actually in here. And it's just really lagging on behind now because temperatures have dropped. I think this tank's actually running about 16 degrees. It's just not warm enough to grow. You know, they need about 22. But it just creates so much condensation in here. I can't get to that heat, not this time of year. So this year we are going back to breeding on the early on, or next year, should I say. But really interesting with that. Sankey fry, you know, if it does bring the colour out just with it being coloured water. Let me get up here and show you the true extent of how many we've got, how many actually fry there is in here. They all tend to go over the back wall over there. But as you can see, these are all now probably an inch and a half to three inches. Some of the bigger ones on bottom may three inches, but most average about two inch. A whole lot of kajaki frog. The only reason I save this amount, because same as say this as fish here, I bred kajaku. I didn't, well, it was more of a learning curve, should I say on what to save in years to come and what we're going to grow on and, and things like that but I'm pleased to say we now know what to look for say so we just look for the ones with the dark yellow head and then the black body and that's what's going to be Kajaku and then I would have thought all the rest are going to be like Jin Masuba 
And we're going to grow a few of them and all just to see, see what they do turn out to be like. We should know it next, next two months I would have thought. These should be big enough to show you the proper colours and what they're going to be. Still a few in here. These are actually the non-metallic Kajaku. They're real interesting. They look like a saggy fry. But a saggy, or should I say, a saggy fry normally white. But whether it's just thrown them differently because they've been inside and they've not had the daylight, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see again. We shall see. If you'd like to see how all these grown, then please subscribe. If I keep getting people subscribe, I'll keep finding time to do these videos. Keep showing you how they're all coming along. You might pick up a few tips, like the Kajaku, what to save. And if you're going to breed Kajaku and you want, you only want to save Kajaku, like these are just coming up to feed now. See what they were. Oh, I've upset them again. They are mouldy with these temperatures. If I could warm it up another three or four degrees, they'd feed like crazy. It's just wrong time of year, unfortunately. But we're still looking good. So thanks again. And I'll post another video in a few weeks as soon as we've got a few more changes to the fry. Or if we get any problems. Then I'll post a video on the problems and how to cure it. But thanks again for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.